The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 72, NASDAQ up 62, S&P's up 9.5, gold contract down $19.50, trading at 14.18 an ounce. You got silver down 35 cents, $16.05. Light sweet crude down 178, 56.80. You got gold, silver, oil getting slammed on the way down. Notes and bonds, guess what, folks? 10-year note up 11 ticks, 127.25, 30 up 21, 156.08, and they get volume behind the move. Higher price, lower yield, we're at 1.98 right now. Uh, 1.71's coming at us in this 10-year. Uh, King Dollar, King Dollar up 272 ticks, trading 98,530. Now, it's gonna be interesting about King Dollar. It got over the highs of a breakout area, and it's having a hard time holding up there. So. Welcome to August, folks. August, most volatile month of the year on a traditional basis. And guess what? We got it in spades. It's saying good morning, and here we go. Euro, euro is at 110. The yen is at 108, and the pound is out here at 120. The pound is at 120. The yen, the pound, as well as the euro, is getting slammed in a huge way. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You want to understand options, option strategies, futures, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, outstanding program. If you haven't test driven yet the Thinkorswim platform, it's real easy to do. You come over to our website at TFNN, hit the banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money each and every day. You can follow Kevin and his team. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. How we doing? Um, a, lot, a lot going on today. You know, here's the thing. With everything that happened yesterday, you got about one day to catch your breath and tomorrow morning we have payrolls so this market will be moving again tomorrow so even though it's the middle of summer and august 1st we are ripping all over the board here i mean every single macroeconomic currency or macroeconomic indicator everything's moving isn't it now you know Kevin, this is so cool because, you know, I was talking about this yesterday. And, you know, as an option and a futures trader, right, what we had yesterday, folks, is this. This is, you know, we haven't had this in a long period of time. When those S&Ps went down, folks, okay, we went from 3,017, okay, all the way down to 29.76. And you know, Kevin definitely knows this because he used to run a book. That was cleaning the book out of the S&Ps. Oh, yeah. And it was like, Kevin, I saw that down. I says, oh, my God, but it snapped back so quick. I says, guess what? It's, you know. It, it looks like some stop orders probably got hit oh. on the downside. And, and you know what happens when the stop orders get filled. You know, it, there's a really good chance that that's the end of the selling. They'll gap pretty hard. And then you know that there, there, there's an air pocket there. And then. You, you know, that's usually a pretty good buy if it you can is, buy on, you know, on some of those stops. Wh which, which in, this is what happens, folks, is that when you see something like that, what happens is that you don't need a lot of buy-in for markets to go higher when the book is cleaned out. That, and that's, you know, I was looking at it and says, oh, we haven't seen this. And, we, you know, I mean, during the Depression, you, you saw it, you know what I mean, a few times. But I thought that was really like, okay, man, this the market still wants higher price. And it's really hard to comprehend that in your own head when, the, like, it got slammed so quick. But then guess what, man? You know, these, these notes and bonds, they keep continue to say, it's almost, Kevin, like the, the note and bond market is running the Fed. They, you know, the Fed yeah. might say one thing, but guess what? They come back in the air, they keep buying hand over fist, and they're buying hand over fist this morning. It's like, okay, man. Yeah, it's amazing. The one-minute charts on the 30-year bond and the 10-year bond yesterday when oh. Jerome Paul started his speech was amazing the volatility within within one minute seriously i mean man. when he came out and said you know mid-cycle policy adjustment bonds broke hard yep right and yep. then boom they they snapped right back and now they're up again i mean we're, we're looking at a 10-year that is about you know one nine eight right now i know so we're below two percent yeah but 
You know what that's going to bring in, Tom, as it usually does, low rates, dip buyers. Oh, and, for sure. you know, sure. this market dip yesterday, and there yeah. was plenty of people to, to, to buy the dip. Because with a sub 2% tenure, so many stocks look cheap. 22 of 30 in the Dow Industrials have a dividend yield now higher right. than the tenure. Exactly. No, and, and, it, and what, de what definitely happens, folks, inexpensive money, okay, relates to more bottom line profit and less expenses. I mean, you know, you gotta remember some people will leverage up, period. Companies can leverage up because they can understand their cash flow most better than most of us. Do you know what I'm saying? But they're gonna, you level, you leverage up, bottom line is that uh, more money should come to the bottom line. It's, this dollar is, is still, you know, yesterday, I, I was looking, you know, the dollar's going topside. I said, you know what? Yeah. This is going to be the closest we come to intervention because this, euro, the, this euro, as well as the pound, I mean, this thing is serious business, man. I mean. Yeah, I mean, and this is, you're going to hear this earnings season, next earnings season, if this dollar stays at these levels, you're going to hear currency headwinds creeping into a lot of multinationals' uh, earnings calls. Yep. Yeah. As they talk about the effects of the higher dollar, because this is, make no mistake, uh, the higher dollar is going to start affecting these multinationals. It has already, oh, yeah. frankly. Yeah. So, you know, that's a headwind. Make no mistake, as good as, you know, the, the other side of this low rate is, you know, this high dollar is causing problems. And you're going to start hearing Trump talk about it. Yeah, no, I, uh, you know... I, I, my take, you know, y yesterday this thing broke topside and it had the volume behind it. What I like that is happening out here today is that it got to higher price, folks, and it's having a really tough time. We we got up to 98,700. Now we're at 98,465. You know, if you get down in between, all we have to do is get under 260, 98,260. And to me, that would be a major failure, which would make sense, by the way, okay? Because... You know, if you go back to that Asian contagion, Kevin, in the 98, do you remember the, it's the currencies that can really disrupt things, okay? Sure. So, you know, I'm looking at the Fed. The Fed can't do anything about it, but the Treasury can. They say, okay, man, if this gets out of whack too much, you know, you always have a couple big do dogs on the wrong side of it, mm -hmm. and that's when we seem to have some trouble, but, you know. Yeah, but I mean, you know, traders nowadays, you have to be watching the U.S. dollar. Yes. I mean, just look at the effect. They, you know, Oliver Rennick and I were talking about how for a couple days there, the relationship between the dollar and gold kind of broke down. Where they were going in the same direction. Yeah. Well, it, that that ended real quick, it, and and people should have thought that it wasn't going to last forever. But boy, the gold broke hard today. Oh, there's no doubt. And you know, we, this contract uh, got down to uh, fourteen twelve. You know, we're at fourteen nineteen right now. Um, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. Now, the lowest swing point on this is not is down to thirteen ninety six. So it's certainly, you know, you know what's so cool, man. What I really love right now. The volatility is everywhere, and you know what I yeah. didn't. Uh, and, and so it's like, okay, we knew it was going to happen, um, and you know we'll find out where this baby's going to go. But we certainly, uh, this is certainly not a quiet summer. <laughs> yeah, think how quickly that VIX yesterday went from you know 12 a couple yeah. days ago to over 16 yesterday. Yeah, look at that. Fascinating. That's amazing. Listen, folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, you want to get a great education. You want to understand option option strategies. Check it out. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, have a great weekend, and we look forward to speaking to next Tuesday. Always fun talking to you, Tom. Have a great day. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow's up 88, NASDAQ's up 72, S&P's up 11 and a half. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today.
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 118. Nasdaq's up 76. S&Ps are up 14 and a half. Let's go take a look at it, folks, because you got a deviant market here, man. And this is so cool, uh, the way this is shaking out. So, S&Ps, right? ABC structure on the way up. And now, this is, a, this is about as deviant as you can get, folks. So, 3,055 is the number. Um, we made it uh, last Wednesday to 3,029. Last night, you get on down to 2958, and as it was, Kevin and I were just talking, my take on this, and it's particularly the way that it traded out, folks, is that, so picture something. When you're in the markets in general, particularly in the, in the futures market, there's no way that you are uh, basically a, a player in general without some kind of stop. Now, the stop can be far away from where it's trading, but guess what? What happened yesterday is that this little baby, um, you know, bottom line is that went down 58 points in a heartbeat, okay? Well, people don't put stops, you know, most of the time, uh, way below 58 points, never 20 points, okay, on the S&P, okay? Bottom line, it flushed out the bottom, okay? Now, that being said, you flushed out the bottom, yet you have volume down there, okay? So the larger take is that, yeah, when this ABC structure is done, you're going to go down there. And this is the deviance inside the marketplace. What we have out here now is that you're up 14 bucks, okay? It's like nothing has happened. Uh, the correlation, I suspect, is going to be this, though, is that as we get up into this level again, you're going to see the, you know, like if I look at the SPY, the SPY is 299.16. 303 is the number. What you'll, say, what you'll see is you'll get up into this level, you'll have light volume, and then guess what, folks? Then you're going to have about six weeks of a down market. That's how the, um, this is checking out. So let's go to the gold contract, because gold, no doubt, looks like it's slammed, but guess what? It's not. What you have a gold out here is this. Gold hit 1412 today. We're already at 1421. You have 274,000 contracts trading. We're going to 574, I believe. Five, oh, the, I, I'll pull up the, low, the other contract. I believe it's 574. You already got a rejection of lower price. You, ne you didn't hit the swing point. The swing point in gold is 1396. We hit 1412. If gold closes over 1422.30 today, we're at 1422.20, guess what? You're going right after that high up there, which would be the 1467. Now dollar. 
This is gonna. This is the wild card. There's no two ways about this. This dollar. There's no reason, number one, that the dollar should fail. Okay. The reason I'm saying that is this: is that the dollar yesterday took out the high, 25,000 contracts. Okay, on the dollar. That's a good contract volume. That being said, guess what? It's like at the end of a race. You get the end of a race, it makes it up and over the swing point, and then it dies on the vine. So we'll see how this shakes out today, because it's going to be a big day out here with the dollar, and it's going to be a big week with the dollar. Here's your benchmark, and this is the benchmark that we have out here. The benchmark is 90 Eight, I think, let's get this straight. Okay, so the benchmark is 98,260. 98, That's what you have. And we're at 98,435 right now. We made it to 98,700. Um, the, the, this is going to be all about the euro, because the euro got absolutely slammed out here this morning. Um, euro got down to 11027. Now, it's rejected it, and it's a big deal for rejects it because when we bring this back, what you're going to see, just as the dollar had basically broken topside, the euro had broken downtown. And if the euro closes, um, the euro has to close, let's put it this way, not today, but the, by tomorrow, at 111.12, and we're at 111.06. So you're not talking a you know, huge amount of ticks here, but it's, it's serious business. You go take a look at the pound, what you have with the pound. Uh, same type of setup, the, the pound. Uh, pound also jumped off the cliff. Um, the pound right now got down to 120. We're at 121. And we pull this back, and what you're going to see, um, you know, the bottom line is that the low in the pound, uh, you know, for the last the few years has been the 118. Uh, we got down to the 120 today. Uh, the pound's going to need a lot of work, man. The pound has to get back inside 124. So the moving pieces are out here. Uh, when you put it all together, my take goes like this. My take has to do with the notes and bonds still. Notes and bonds, folks, have been the most consistent saying where they want to go with price and volume. And I say the most consistent, I'm talking about the most consistent when you look at the S&Ps, when you look at the gold contract, when you look at the dollar, when you look at currencies and debt. And this break is a huge break topside. Uh, you have the volume behind the move. The last high out here inside the 10 year was at 128.14. We're 127.25 right now and you get monster volume. Right now we get 1.1 million contracts. Uh, so that's saying that they are buying this hand over fist inside the 10. We go to the 30 and the 30 already has double of what it normally has. The high in the 30 is 157.02, and we're at 156.10. You're running in with 218,000. So bottom line, fundamental basis, you keep going down on rates, up on price inside the 10-year, inside the 30-year. Guess what? That's going to keep juice inside the gold market. In fact, if you take a look at the gold market, uh, they've already, the equities have already re rejected lower price. You get AEM up 23 cents. If it hit uh, 51.22, you're at 52.48. You get the GDX. GDX out here got down to a price point of 26.04, you're at 26.82. Royal Gold. I, I love markets like this, by the way, folks. High volatility is where it's at. Um, Royal Gold, 111, you're at 115.53. What, what happens is that the, the reversals um, are pretty intense, you know, but bottom line is that, uh, guess what? You keep going down on rates, you go up in price, guess what? Commodities are going to basically go higher. Oil, let's go take a look at the oil market. Now, it's intriguing with oil is that what you had out here yesterday, uh, bottom line is that uh, oil wants lower price. And, you know, right now you're down to $1.66. The... Um, you know, the bottom of this uh, range that we're in right now is $54.84. I expect we're going to get down there. Uh, we'll see how it does it. But when you take a look at uh, oil on a much larger basis, uh, the, bo the bottom line is that uh, it has been going down and has been going down uh, for quite some, uh, quite some time out here. Some of the uh, higher volume equities out here today, let's see what we have. You have uh, Advanced Micro is uh, up 71 cents. 
You got uh, Fitbit down 87. Oh, Fitbit's toast, man. Uh, we'll get into that. Fitbit has big problems. Apple's up $3.50. You got Qualcomm down $2. That's not bad. It was down $18. I mean, it was down uh, $4 last night. Beyond Meat, this is like the biggest scam in the world. Uh, BYND, you know, the broker dealer community, the banking community, folks. Um, they're basically taking everyone to the cleaners. Uh, they allowed the insiders to do the unlocking of shares within uh, 90 days. Uh, they did a uh, 350 million uh, secondary out here this morning. They priced it dramatically lower than it was because guess what? They had to in order to move that out. And out of the 350 million, only 40 million uh, of those shares uh, are going to go into the company's coffers. The rest of it's going to go into the pockets of insiders as well as the venture funds. And guess what? That baby is going to have uh, problems, period. Don't, don't be uh, surprised if another three months they don't do another uh, s third secondary out here. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow's up 139. Nasdaq's up 83. S&P's up 15 and a half. Come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, you get the market. 
clawing it back, man. It's pretty wild. Dow's up 178. You get the Nasdaq uh, up 100. The uh, S&Ps are up uh, 19. So, uh, you know, Nasdaq's up 1.1%. You get the Dow up 6 tenths of 1%. Uh, S&Ps are up 4 tenths of 1%. We go over and we t let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see the strength versus the weakness out here. Okay, so strength-wise, Apple's putting 24 positive points in. That's up 360. You got Microsoft putting 20. Visa's putting 17. IBM's putting 16. Taken away from it. Uh, small numbers. You get uh, Goldman putting nine negative points. Pfizer six, and Exxon Mobil uh, three. Uh, inside the NDX 100, strength versus the weakness out here. Vertex Pharmaceuticals up 7.6 percent. Or twelve dollars and ninety-three cents. You get uh, Western Digital up six percent. Or three thirty-eight. Clack is up uh, four percent of five fifty. Mercado Libre is up three point seven. Taken away from it. Qualcomm is down uh, three point nine percent. Now, bottom line, that was down a lot more than that last night. We're down two dollars and seventy-seven cents. That was down five bucks last night. You get Idex Pharmaceutical off two point three percent, or six ninety-five. Fastenal is off one point one. Um, inside the, uh, you want to see some numbers out here. These are pretty, you know. And when I was talking about this last few days. And I'm watching this sector, folks, in particular because of commodities in general. Uh, so what you have is CF Industries. They come out with numbers last night, blew the numbers away. This is about nitrogen uh, for potash, uh, all the above. Bottom line, you get price and volume behind, behind the move. And when you start looking at this, um, they beat, uh, and they beat pretty uh, heavily, too. Uh, the company cited uh, net sales for the second quarter that beat the average analyst estimates. Uh, they have a record first quarter and second uh, quarter of Eurela sales. Uh, globally, the company expects demand uh, from India and Brazil to remain strong. And if you remember, Nutrient, this is what started this thing uh, on the way up. Nutrient folks had, had come out and uh, talking about the amount of money they were going to put into Brazil, over a billion dollars. Um, bottom line is that uh, you uh, you have some action there, and the action. So the earnings per share, the estimate had been 63 cents in this equity. It's coming in at a dollar 28, and you're going to see uh, that go right throughout. Uh, let's go over to Mosaic. You're going to see it go right th right th throughout the industry. Um, Mosaic is out. Mosaic is up 16 cents. Not 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 as much, but bottom line, I expect you're going to see those equities to continue to move. So what you have here, you have you have a, I. Right now, the way that they came out, it really had to do, it didn't, it did not have to do with the amount of more acreage being planted. What it had to do with is that the challenging conditions around the world need, the soil needs more nitrogen. That's how this the baby has been shaken out. So we'll see where this shakes out. The, one of the main, main reasons that I am watching it so closely, though, is the fact that when you get a real commodity bull. And the last one we had that really started, and I'm talking about in all commodities, was in 2002. What happens is this, is that you get the metals going, you get the agriculturals going, you get the potash stocks going, and then they all go. And in order for that to happen, that dollar has to fail. The dollar hasn't failed yet, but that's how a real commodity bull gets going, because one gets plied on top of the other. Simultaneously, what you have is that just like when Kevin Hanks and I were talking about the stronger dollar, how your large multinationals have such a problem, right? Okay, so watch what happens with a weaker dollar. With a weaker dollar, what ends up happening is that our farmers have a much easier time selling their goods overseas because they're such less expensive. And right now, even if it wasn't blocked, meaning that China would be buying something, uh, the bottom line is that they'd be very expensive even when the price of them are down in dollar terms, because guess what? When you reverse that and go and say, okay, what are they up in dollar terms? They're up quite a bit of money. That's how that baby shakes out. XAU, the XAU and the HUI, we take a look at it. What we had out here in the XAU, XAU has already rejected lower price out here at uh, $86. Right now you're at 89 and uh, to get back, uh, well, you never get out of the lower range. The lower range is uh, 86.35. And we made it to, well, you did. You, you tested it. You tested the breakout area, and it rejected it. And now you're at higher price. Uh, gold Bugs Index. We go take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Gold Bugs Index did the exact same thing. Uh, gold Bugs Index got down to 194 this morning, and you're already at 200. Uh, the number uh, 195.66 would have been the test, uh, was the test of that area. So 
It's going to be wild watching this whole uh, thing shake out, particularly in the next few days, because what you have is this. So picture. Now, we just came through the uh, Fed, bottom line, notes and bonds are saying it all, that these rates, in fact, let's go take a look. I'm curious what the September 18th time frame is saying now. Okay, so look at this. This popped up again. So yesterday, we were at 60%. Now we get a second rate, rate hike rate cut, rather, on September 18th. Now we're at 68.7. So it didn't take long um, for the, basically, Fed Fund futures traders to say that, guess what? This baby uh, is getting cut once again. And if you listen to, you know, when I was on the air yesterday, I mean, I, my, my take on this is that when you listen to Powell, uh, when he said that the bottom line is that he was, they were opening up an accommodative policy. That said it all. It was like, okay, you op you're telling the market you're opening up an accommodative policy. When you look at the history of the Fed, the, it's not a one and done. You know, people always talk, they don't always talk, but, you know, every time there's reversals, meaning from rates going higher to rates going lower, it's going to be, is this a one and done? I've never seen it. I've never seen it since 1980. Okay, what ends up happening is that when the Fed starts going up, you go up two or three times in a row. When we start talking the 80s and 90s, they would go very, very quickly. They would go every quarter, like boom, 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 okay? When they come down, there's always problems, so they come down very quick, okay? Now we're on the way going up. So I suspect that, guess what? Whether it's the next uh, 12, 16 months, that's kind of where we're at. It doesn't mean that you have to, you're gonna go down every meeting uh, but right now, when you do look at that Fed fund rate, that the probability is uh, very high that you're going to see 68%. And if you want to see the next meeting, now there's already a 31% another rate reduction in October, October 30th. So now these numbers move around a lot, folks. There's no doubt about that. But the quicker that this 68% starts running up to 80%, the higher that it's gonna be that, okay, now we're gonna to go to 1.75 to two. And if we go take a look at the 10 year right now, what you are gonna see, the, the yield on the 10 year, what is sticking out like a sore thumb right now is the 1.71. And oh, hey, this is gonna be cool, man. Let's so check this out. So, if you're watching Tiger TV, and if you're not watching Tiger TV, folks, it's real simple to do. Just go to YouTube, hit Tiger TV, and subscribe, it's free. 1.93 was the low that was generated out here on July 3rd. We're going, we're not only going after that, folks, you're going after that with wide price spread. When you go after something at highs, all lows at wide price spread, your probability is much higher, you're gonna blow it away. If we blow this away, watch this. The A point on this would be 2.4. The B point is 1.9. So you're talking about a half a percent. Your C point is 2.1. Where does that bring you? That brings you below 1.71. That brings you to 1.6. So we break this, and I suspect it's going to try to break by tomorrow. Guess what? Lower rates are coming at you fast and furious, because this will be a fast move. If this is an ABC down, inside the bonds, yow! Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 198. We get the NASDAQ up 97. S&Ps are up uh, 20. You go over the composite, uh, NASDAQ composite, what you're looking at, folks, is this. This is like nothing uh, actually even happened yesterday. It's pretty wild. So yesterday, you had a high in the composite yesterday of uh, 89, 82.99. Well, we're at 82.75 right now. And anything over the highs of that were generated out here on the April 29th, okay, uh, is, we're still in a much higher range. 81.76 is that number. Now you're, you're up 100 points over that, uh, over that area. So uh, this baby uh, wants to finish up its ABC structure on the way up. That's how this is shaken out. If we go and we take a look at the uh, NQs out here, what you're gonna see with the NQs, you talk about uh, volatility, uh, you got this thing in spades, man. Uh, the NQs got down to uh, 777.82, uh, with 79.76. And uh, bottom line is that uh, this baby still wants to get up and over the last highs out here of um, 80, uh, 80, 80, 8051. That, that, that baby is, is going to go for it. And as I said uh, at the beginning of the show, uh, the bottom line is that that was the total clean out, uh, you know, of all the stops yesterday on the way down. Uh, fast, furious, uh, no doubt. If we take a look at the NQs yesterday, we went from a price point of 79.96 uh, down into uh, 77.82. You know, so you're, you're talking about almost uh, 300 uh, NQ points. Uh, and they, when you look at that correlation, the correlation really has to do with how fast you get down there. So there was a monster out of going all the way down, click, 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 get them cleaned out then guess what? Any type of buy-in that comes in, you get a clean slate, you're going back topside, um, it's there. Silver, let's go take a look at the silver market out here. Uh, silver as well as gold, S-I-U, S-I. Silver as well as gold, they slammed that uh, yesterday, uh, slammed it this morning. Uh, silver, Hasn't come back as much as gold just yet, but the bottom line, I expect you're going to see it. Why? Because watch how this shakes out. We got down to silver today, uh, $15.93. You're at $16.07, and you are going against a monster bow with 174,000 contracts. We're not going to do any cl anything close to 174,000 contracts out here today. Uh, just go back into that gold market again for a second. What you're going to see, uh, don't be surprised if uh, gold only ends up being down uh, about $7 today. And what you're going to have is you're going to have a true rejection of lower price. You're going to have it on lighter volume. And uh, bottom line, you can see that we've hit 1412. 
You're already 12 bucks off of that level. You're at 1423. You never got to the, the swing point. The swing point is at 1396, you know. Um, and evidence inside of that market is that the uh, equities themselves, uh, bottom line, are refusing to back off. Uh, Royal Gold, which is the king of the streamers as well as the king of the gold market, you're going to see that traded down to $111. Right now, you're at 116 and we put this on the monthly, and what you're going to see here is that you not only have the clean break of the highs of 2011, uh, those highs uh, out here uh, were $100.84. Uh, that thing went topside, and guess what? You had volume behind the move. So pretty wild market, and uh, there's, there's no doubt that uh, you can expect the volatility to continue. Now, let's go over to the DAX in Germany, because what has happened is this. The DAX in Germany on Tuesday gave us the indication that once this ABC structure finishes, we are going to back down. And this is where I'm going with this. So, like, out of nowhere, on Tuesday, the DAX goes from a price point of 12,400 to 12,100, and you had an expansion of volume. That was telling me flat out that, hey, guess what? The sellers are coming in. That's not a retail clients. That's not you and I. That is larger funds in. I'm going, I'm getting rid of this stuff, okay? That was the first indication. We go into the UK, and we take a look at the UK. What we have with the UK is bottom line. That also had broken topside, and then it gave it up in spades, man. And that had a big expansion of volume also. And now that came in yesterday. So, Pritchett, we had the DAX sell down on Tuesday. Yesterday, you had the UK sell down, and in both cases, it's the big expansion of volume that you really better pay attention to because what that is, that's the fund saying, okay, I'm out of here. Now, let's go to our own S&P. So our own S&P, what ends up happening? Our own S&P, we take a look at it. That comes down yesterday, has volume on the move down. Now, you've re you rejected lower price, and I expect this S&P is going to basically get over the highs because that's going to be the most deviant move it can make. That being said, guess what? That was the first indication that you had monster selling inside the marketplace. And you can see it in the volume in the indices yesterday. Uh, they exploded. 1.3 billion inside the Dow Industrials, inside the S uh, NYSE versus 800 million. And inside the NASDAQ Composite, what we had out here, 2.6 billion. So you can see there was plenty that was sold out here. Uh, that's the first indication to me that, okay, guess what? You know, after the next few days are over, window dressing's over, uh, bottom line, something's going to be out there. And, and, and so check this out. This is what's really wild, too. This is just deviant enough that you have the first sell down, right? The first sell down, it, it, it scared the, the, bear, the bulls. The bears thought they had it. And then you get a wicked quick reverse. So both of them are like on shaky ground right now. Now what ends up happening is you go higher. So the bulls are going to feel really good. What ends up happening, the bears are going to be basically scared to sell the thing again. That is when you actually get a downdraft. Because what happens is that everyone's shaky. You know, when everyone is basically opinionated on one side or the other, normally it flips to the other side. When you get a shaky bull and bear scenario, that's when you get things happening and, and that's how it shakes out, man. You know, so go back over to the 30 year again. Watch this. See, this is not stopping this 30 year, man. Uh, this is uh, about as intense as you can get. This 30 year, look at this move, man. It's huge. The, thir the 30 year is going after its highs right now. So what that's telling me is this. The high in the thir 30 year right now is 157.02. We're at 156. 27. There's 32 points, 32 ticks versus a point. So that means we're only five ticks away from it, right? Now, might go after it today. I suspect what's going to happen. The volume is going to keep increasing. You're pushing the high. You're pushing the high with volume. More than likely, what you're going to see tomorrow is that this is going to overtake the highs. You have the juice behind the move, and then you are going to get a very fast move once again inside the bond markets. Because right now, we are right next to, the 10-year is moving as fast as the 30. Right now, we're at 1.95. The low for the last 12 months is 1.950. We're at 1.955. Um, the market, in general, 
uh, is knowing now that, guess what? Uh, see, as I'm talking to, this is Accelerate, man. Hold on for the ride, man. This is, this is, this is going to be a fun trading market. We're, we're August 1st, August is the most volatile month on a continual basis inside the marketplace, folks. Okay? Volatility is going to be up. Volatility is going to be down. Dow Industrials right now up 237. NASDAQ up 110. S&P's up 24. Gold's down 13 bucks. That's already rejected lower price. King dollar. King dollar very well could fail. It's up 182 right now at 98,440. 98,260 is the number to keep your eye on. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow's up 255, Nasdaq's up 128, S&Ps are up 25, and this bond market is driving it. Look at this 10, folks. <laughs> you know, we were talking about buying hand over fist, but you don't see this a lot. I mean, this is one uh, surge forward in markets, uh, and uh, the it's you know this bond market is driving it. Uh, the 10 year just took out the consolidation that's in 127.27. We're at 128 right now. 30 year, same type of setup. Uh, big numbers, man. I mean, large numbers. Uh, look at the 30 year. Holy cow. 30 year, the high of 30 years at 157.02. 
and uh, we're going to bang it out. 156.30, we already hit, and it has the volume behind the move. We'll go over to the S&Ps. What you're going to see here uh, each and every time, the bond market surges, guess what? They're coming right into the S&P. Um, right now, you've got the S&P up 250, and we started this downdraft yesterday at uh, 3,016, and you're at 3,007 right now uh, in the marketplace. So... Um, uh, let me go look at this because they, see this is how this this is setting up it, it does want to get up there but it's also setting up that it's going to be an exhaustion move well you're at 1.45 so see this is pretty impressive well 1.45 in the on the arms folks and you know what that means is that means that there's still more selling than buying and that means that this can still go higher that's oh that's wild man okay so let me look at the tick too so the tick here has hit and they, we don't have a high tick we're going higher we're going, we've only hit 1175. And see, that would make sense too, because this type of buy, and what this is, and this isn't shot covering, because you already had that yesterday, all day, and you're blown out of the water. What this is, this is buying that come out at the end of the washdown, and you want higher price. Stay right there, folks. We get fast market coming up next, and we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon, folks. Have a great one, and have a safe one.